Welcome back, everybody. I'm TG Capital here, and um, today I'm going to be unboxing or opening a um, what is this called? Uh, I don't know what it's called. Three booster packs plus a promo card. Uh, I guess there isn't really a name for it. Anyway, it's exclusive at Target. I'm pretty sure. Comes with a promo bristling hydra. It's worth like 50 cents, nothing. Um, and it comes with three random packs. I'm pretty sure this first one is Theros, and the last one is Kaladesh. I don't know what the middle one is. I'm guessing Shadows over Innistrad, so we'll see um, if my predictions are correct. It costs $12, so if you think about it, $12 for three packs, uh, that's that, that's worth it. And then since older packs, you can give or take like 50 cents, and that's where the Hydra comes in, so yeah. Anyway, um... Let's get open. So, now before I do this, I'm going to move the camera back just a little bit so it's easier for me to open this without bumping it off. Alright. There we go. So, the first, or let's just go like this. Oh, I got it wrong. I thought Theros was blue. I don't know. Anyway. Here is the Bristling Hydra. Oh, I'm going to throw away this trash really fast. There we go. Bristling Hydra. Right there. And uh, the packs. So I got, I thought this was Theros. I was wrong. It's actually Return to Ravnica. Elder Troon, so I was close. They said Shadows of Rain in Estrad. In Estrad, that's close. And Aether Revolt. <laughs> I was close again. Was, I said Kaladesh. Anyway, close enough. Return to Ravnica is pretty nice. Uh, we'll open that one last. Um, we'll open Elder Troon first, because in my opinion, that's not the best. Here we go. I actually have opened, like, barely any packs of Elder Troon, like, ever. Uh, skip to the rare, or, uh, uh, flip card, Extractor of Sin, or no, Extricator of Sin. Um, when it enters the battlefield, you may sacrifice another permanent. If you do, put out three, two colors, so it draws a hork, creature token on the battlefield. If they transform it, and then it's a three, five, it'll draw the tokens have vigilance. Uh, it's not the best. Oh, Mythic. Jeez, that's cut off really badly. Look at that. I don't know, like, I don't know if that's enough to say a misprint. I don't know. This is interesting. Well, um, look at that. Anyway, for six, look at the top seven cards of your library. Put two Planeswalker cards from them on the battlefield and put the rest in the bottom of the library. In any order. Random order. Alright, that's nice. Alright, I don't know if there's any uncommons in uh, Eldritch Moon that are worth anything, so we'll just assume there isn't. Next up is Aether Revolt. Um, let's see, what are we hoping for? Probably some of the lands would be nice. Fatal Push. If I get a Masterpiece, I mean, I don't even know. Alright, the rare is Sram's Expertise. Create three color servo artifact creature tokens. You may cast a card with convert a mana three or less from your hand without paying its mana cost. It's pretty good. And will we get a fatal push? Nope. We will not. Last, we have Return to Ravnica. It's kind of funny opening one of these after opening so many... Guilds of Ravnica packs. You know. And the rare is Hypersonic Dragon. All right. So. I'm going to go check the prices of 
these cards. Uh, we hit a mythic. It's pretty nice. Um, anyway, I'll be right back. Just check the prices. This is a dollar. This is around 50 or 60 cents. Same with this. So, um, yeah, as you can see, not very good. Um, so let's see, a dollar, dollar fifty, two dollars, two dollars fifty cents from a, um, twelve dollar thing, twelve dollar product. So, yeah, um, probably won't buy these again. But, anyway, yeah, I hope you guys like this video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. Um, there we go, to MTT Capital. And also, to Calm Dodge. He's my friend, please give him a thumbs up. He deserves it. Um, yeah. Link in the description of his channel. Anyway, yeah, that's it for today.